Okay, so this is not a click bite. I try to go further with the open source project from TechWood Team, which is a million dollar project idea. So if you don't want to use the scraper that he's using in this project, which is payable, you can build your own. So firstly, let's go to the project code. And let's open the... Firstly, I think it's the backend. Open CMD and we'll have... Uh, just be sure that you have all the modules or the version, versions installed so you can go with uh, install slash air requirements txt okay i have all of them after that you can go with python app.py starting the flask server then going to the front end you'll have to be sure that you have npm installed and it's npm i just to do some basic checks to the model and npm start run and it will open our page so this function is not implemented yet but here you won't want to have anything because your database is empty so if you go to the backend instance and database this table will be empty for you because you don't have any products. Also, the tracked, tracked products are is empty for me because I don't have anything in track. As I said, the that the function is not implemented, so I can add a test product here, and it will go in the web page. But there's nothing in the database with this one because it's not connected. Okay, so we'll need those items, and in order to get it here. You will have to build the scraper so you can see that everything works but it doesn't the price didn't change since last time it was checked i didn't run it today here you can see the graph and the picture and the url and so on this one works also and this one okay so let's see the scraper so firstly we are importing the modules mainly selenium and sqlite then we're creating a list in which we will store the results. As I said, the first function doesn't work, so I created a list with directly with the asins that I want to scrape the path to the database, the function that connects to the database using SQLite 3, the function that populates the table. So basically, we are inserting into these columns from the database these values. So using this SQL method, we are getting the values from the list in order to populate them into the database and close it. Then we can read the data with this function and we will get the product results that were created today, as you can see here. Uh, because we are using this query and today date we will see how it works later on. Okay, we can delete something from the database based on the name. So if you want, you can get a name from, from the database a product if you don't want to scrape it anymore. And delete it. I went with Edge because it's possible much faster than Chrome. Then if you don't want to see the browser opened, as long as you're scraping, you're scraping, you can use this line and comment it. But this will be deprecated next year, so you can use the new one. Here we iterate through all the items, so uh, each time we are taking each item and building the link in order to access it and access the link. Then we all we will wait until this main ID is found in order to, to wait for the page to load. Then for the title, it's a bit tricky to get because you will have to nest the elements, you will have to get the product title which is inside the title, which is inside the title selection and so on. So that's why I went with this method in order to get the product title text. Then for image, uh, we are getting the source, <coughs> waiting for the image to load and getting the source, the image tag, which is in this class. Then we are retrieving the current URL 
and for the price it's a bit trickier because the, the price can be found in multiple uh, spots so you can find it here or here or below but I could see that here is the most uh, general one so we are targeting this one get it but the thing is it will bring 130 at the line and 49 on the next line so that's why basically we are stripping the space firstly and dollar sign and we are splitting it in half so we'll have 130 first and 49 second then we are grouping them with the dot in the middle just to form the price um, the second option it can find in, in this id it depends from product to product but it will get it with the value with the list price text with the, including with the values and we have to replace also this and the dollar sign and if it has the percentage sign we'll have to split it in two and take the second part and as we did here we have to concatenate it after and if it doesn't have the percentage we just split it in two and end it with a dot later then the date time now to see when the product was scraped we don't have any search text but i'm getting just the title and took the first part of the title because it can have like here it will this will be the first part but you can have like 21 inch monitor and comma black or something like that so we don't need the last part which is black this is just a case but i like to go with it and the source it will be amazon then we are creating a tuple in order to store all the values and uh, each value is appended to this tuple uh, sorry the val is the list with the values that we are appending here and then we are populating the table in the database and then we are recreating the empty list which we created here in order to have a new one each time we are scraping a new item because we are populating this tuple okay so the additional script the additional script it's just to query the database so these are the same functions as here but this is just to show you how it works so we can read the data which was scraped today for example this should return it but if we run it now we don't have anything because we didn't scrape anything today so let's start the scraping session i will leave the browser on just to see how it works but you can hide it and uncomment the, those lines the headless okay so that's all if we go here and run it now we can see what we just scraped here in the database let's close it i'm not sure if it's refreshing automatically here you can see we have new values added and also if we go back here and refresh there's no price change but This is interesting. So why we don't have the correct time? Here it is okay, but here it, it is not. Ah, now it's okay. I had to close the database. So, okay. This was a great price change percent off oh no it, it, it was a price increase actually 
29.99 but it was 59.99 so yeah okay it has a minus but it's with green so there should be a plus but if it was red it was minus it's just a mistake from his side so here is also 79 yeah so we have to modify this thing to, to, to show plus and i think it will be better to have a green one and it's it's a decreased price and a red one when it's increased because that's what we are we're looking for anyway this is the first part of the project um, oh and the title was modified here it had dm and here it does it okay okay this was the first part of the project i will continue modifying this project in the future, in the future and uploading new videos but in order to see them you'll have to subscribe so I encourage everyone to, to work on this project because it's a wonderful idea and maybe it will grow over the months. I don't think it will last a couple of years, but let's see what we can do with it. And if you, if you enjoyed, enjoyed, please subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day.